On the back of the gateway, there are two Ethernet ports that correspond directly with the network settings. All Networks shows the high-level information for both Network 1 and 2. Network 1 corresponds with Ethernet port 1 and can be set to static or DHCP. Network 1 can also provide DHCP services by enabling DHCP server settings. With this feature enabled, the subnet must be within the range of the gateway IP and a range of IP addresses must be set so it can assign IP addresses. Router is set to the gateway's IP address with a matching DNS1 address. Click Save Settings and it will begin DHCP services. Some networks may require additional 802.1x security, which you can enable here. Check with your IT department for verification of all network settings. It's important to note that when any network settings are saved with the Save Settings button, the gateway will reboot and you have to log back in. As mentioned earlier, while the gateway is shut down or rebooting, the ability to control your system will be lost until the gateway is back up. Network 2, which corresponds with Ethernet port 2 on the gateway, can be set to static or DHCP as well. Multicast is used for OmniStream setup and discovery. View the OmniStream training curriculum for more information on multicast. Host provides a simple way to connect to Velocity on the network. Provide a host name and save it. This can be used to pull up Velocity on any computer on the same network simply by typing the host name into a browser.